Hi there, my name is Dr. Jay Brightwell, and uh, you might remember me from such educational videos as sciatic pain, what you can do about it. Our chiropractic assistants have different colored hair. <laughs> So uh, purple. So purple. So seriously, thanks for joining us. We are going to talk a little, we've had some people come in recently with some disc herniation type stuff and some numbness and tingling in the arms and shoulders, arms, shoulders and fingers and hands. So uh, in fact, today we made a promise to somebody, look, we're gonna go on live Facebook at two o'clock, so go and check us out and check these stretches out. And these are just really, really simple things that you can do at home. This particular one that we're gonna focus on today, it's called nerve flossing. So <clears throat> what I mean is, can you see this okay on there? So these nerves that exit here, we wanna essentially floss those nerves. So we wanna take this nerve and we wanna move it in between these vertebra. It's kind of what I do as a chiropractor, but we're gonna find a way to do that at home on your own. So our fully skinned model here. So let's say you're having numbness and tingling in your left hand, and so what we're gonna have lawyers to do is just go ahead and bring your arm back like this. And so the key to making this work is making sure that right here, that there's a 90 degree bend here and straighten those fingers as much as possible. So that's key number one. So if you're just doing this thing like this, it's not gonna work. So you've gotta have that 90 degree bend there, and then you're gonna take your head and you're gonna bring your head down like that. Do you feel that stretching yet, Larissa? I sure do. All right, now, with that stretch, that's good, but now we wanna make sure, remember the, 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 the flossing that we talked about on there? So what she's gonna do, is she's gonna to start to move her arm backwards and up, and move her head back a little bit. Do you feel it kind of flossing a little bit, Larissa? Uh -huh. So, as we talked about the video from side pain, some, one that you can do at home with a partner, this is one that you probably don't wanna do with a partner, because only she knows what it feels like on the inside. So uh, you just kind of got to play around and you can play with moving the arm and the hand at the same time. Go ahead and show us again, Larissa. And do you, do, you, do you feel that through here? I feel it through here, down my arm, yeah. So you, you can feel it in many different places depending on where the numbness and tingling is. So as you're moving your head more one way, you might feel a little bit more in the thumb and the first finger, as you move it back another way, you might be able to feel a little bit more in the pinky, a little bit more in the pinky as you go backwards that way. Yep. And because that, the reason why that is, is you've got lower nerve roots here, which go towards the pinky, a little bit higher up here, going more towards the thumb. If you're in this area, then you're actually going a little bit further up. So you, you don't need to know the neurology of it, but what you're gonna do is just, just play around with it a little bit, right? Um, now, I'm not, I'm not your doctor. Well, I might be your doctor, but uh, Jason, after you're watching this, I am not your doctor. I might be your doctor. You're my doctor. <laughs> so, um, it, just we'll talk to your doctor first, right? So this is the standard statement that says, you know, please talk to your doctor first about performing these exercises. But uh, if you'd like to find out if this works for you, just go ahead and hit me up with a message on right here on the newly, newly Facebook page. Um, there is one thing to consider. If there is decayed degeneration arthritis, can you see me again, Becky? All right. So if there's decayed degeneration arthritis that's building up in the spine, what these nerves might not be movable enough where this nerve flossing exercise will work at all for you. Um, and the only way to figure that out is to get an x-ray. So one of the first things that we do is if there's numbness and tingling, where did Larissa go? If there's numbness and tingling going on, is you sit down and talk to Larissa, and we do an exam, but then we also want to get an x-ray to find out exactly what's going on there. Is it decay degeneration arthritis? Is it something you can do at home? Or do we just need to get in, chiropractically speaking, and move the bone off the nerve so that you can take the healing home with you? Do you have anything else to add, Larissa? Um, I'm going to stretch out my other side after this, because you definitely feel Good point. off balance afterwards. <laughs> so frequently people come in, well, it's, it's, I guess it's random, but it's not random, but sometimes it's both hands, fingers, shoulders, sometimes it's just one side, sometimes it goes back and forth. So, great point. Uh, if you are doing this at home, and it's just like, the, in her case, the left side, make sure you go ahead and also do it on the right side. Feel better for you that way. Yeah, with, with anything, right? You, you ever see some of the gyms working on one, on one arm, just one bicep curl, and they look just you know, a huge one arm? I, I don't usually see those guys, right? Usually you've got, you're working on both sides. So this would be no different. So, thanks for playing along.
Thanks for, and go ahead and send us a message out on Facebook, or you can find us on www.newleaf-chiropractic.com, and thank you for joining our tribe.